hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today i will show you how to import the excel file in sql server so basically we are facing uh, sometimes we face uh, and especially the new beginner face the problem of connecting the uh, ms excel file uh, to uh, sql server so today i will show you how to import the ms excel file this is the ms excel file of super uh, store and here there are the three sheets and i just want to import this order sheet in ms sql so this is a ms sql so in this case what i will do for simplicity i will first create a new database so in the object explorer you can see even database folder is shown so click uh, right uh, hit a right click and create a new database so uh, by creating new database we are giving a simple uh, name of the database say for example uh, his so this i have created a new database now i want to import uh, this uh, excel file in new database so uh, in order to do that i will uh, right click on this his and uh, hit the task so in this task i can see the various uh, in various options so in this case i will uh, hit import data right so after hitting it it will show me the sql server import and export wizard so i will simply hit the next and uh, i will be asked to give the data source so we know our uh, file is ms excel so in order to do that what we need to do we need to create uh, first uh, select the option called sql server native clients okay so after uh, we have two options either we can go to sql server native clients or ms excel native clients so uh, for the simplicity i will go directly to ms excel okay and here is the excel path so i will hit a browse button and will select the file which i want to import okay so i have selected sample superstore and open now this is the excel, uh, excel version so basically by default it is 97 2003 version is there but my version is 2016 plus so i will uh, hit, uh, select 2016 plus you, however you can select whether uh, 2007 10 or 13 whatever version you are using so uh, after selecting that i will hit uh, next now the main question comes here uh, we want to import in this sql server okay so i will hit uh, SQL Server Native Client, okay. And after selecting the SQL Server Native Client, you will uh, see this server name. Basically, this is a unique server name in each uh, device wherever you install MS SQL Server Management Studio, okay. So, uh, and in the database side, I can see uh, his database which I created new. This is shown. However, you can select uh, any database wherever you want. Okay, so I will hit the next and here it will show me copy data from one or more table to view or you just want to specify the data transfer key. So for the simplicity, I will copy uh, my data from the user uh, point of view. Here I can see number of options are there. These are nothing but the source tables uh, database. Now I have selected orders. Okay, and I will hit a preview. So it shows me that uh, your data looks like that. Okay, fantastic. We want this data. So uh, we will hit next. Okay, and here it is a run immediately. So I will say, Bha, please run Karlo. Okay, so now my data is being fetched from this Excel file to my MS SQL server in this HISP database. So total 9,000 rows are there, some 7,000 rows got transferred, 8,000, 9,000, okay. So it will take few seconds, great. So it got completed successfully. Here, uh, now what I will do, I will just uh, click this plus button in tables. So I can see whether it has come or not. Yes, fantastic. See, uh, orders has come. Be sure uh, one thing we, that here DBO is nothing but the uh, one connection, uh, one prefix of MS SQL Server. You will see everywhere. We want this columns whether it has come or not. So in order to check what I will do, I will click in his and hit a new query. Okay. And what I can do, I will just uh, write simple query. Select from 
orders okay so i got the orders so and i i will uh, click shift right click uh, left arrows and then control e exit execute i have two option i can uh, do f5 or control e i usually use shortcuts so i will simply select it and will hit control e execute hooray you can see this rows have been successfully imported from this excel file right hope you like this video if you like this please put your comments and thumbs up to me thank you very much for watching this video